So, I've had the car remapped and she feels alive. Right, guys, good day today. Gonna go and get the car remapped again. Um, so, I recently, I recently had to have a recall um, done on my car. So I've got a, I've got a BMW 3 Series, and it needed the, needed the EGR cooler software updated, um, and it also needed the, I think they call it their DDE, uh, which is basically the car's computer. They needed that updated too, um, and unfortunately, in doing so, it meant I lost my map on my car. So I'm going to go get re that redone today. Um, so I'm going to be doing that with AR Autos down in Bishop's Waltham, which if you're local to Portsmouth, where I am in the UK, you may know of them. Um, they mostly do sort of a bath and it's like that, but um, they did my BMW just fine and, and the map was really, really good. So we're heading off there. I've got to be there in about 45 minutes. So I think I can probably just squeeze in some breakfast. Right, so I've gone to Wenzel's, got my bacon roll. I don't know if you can see that in there. Looks amazing. So I'm going to dive into this and then I will talk to you guys when we're back on the road. I haven't even finished yet, but honestly, guys, if you have a Wenzel's near you, breakfast is <clears throat> on point. On point. Right, that's breakfast done. I've got my coffee on the go. My little Wenzel's coffee, which actually is good coffee too. Um, so if you're gonna try it out, make sure you grab a coffee. But we'll get back on the road. I need to head out to AR. I've got 25 minutes to get there, so I'm probably guarding it a little bit fine. A little bit fine. Right, so, I've had the car remapped and she feels alive. I love it. Um, you really don't realize just how much a remap does for you until you lose it. When you first get your remap, it's like, this is nice. Yeah, this is all right. And it feels okay. You're like, yeah, it's good. Yeah, like whatever. Um, nice change, a bit more power. But when you lose it, oh, it's a different story when you lose it. Oh, when you lose it you just feel like you've lost everything um you know i uh, as i was saying my, my car went in for an, an ecu recall or whatever with bmw um and the minute you drive it off the dealer forecourt you just go oh oh it's not responding oh it's not doing anything um you genuinely yeah you just if you haven't had your car remapped you won't get it if you haven't lost your remap you most might not get it but especially in the diesel the difference is huge um, I mean, I've got about I've, I've got about a 25% power increase out of having a remap done, which is, uh, I mean, that's pretty damn good. That is pretty damn good. Um, but yeah, you genuinely you do you have no idea until you lose it, and then to get it back again, you can suddenly appreciate actually just how much it does. But yeah, so now I am. What else have I got to do? I've got to go sort out my suit. Um, I still need to possibly take some pictures somewhere, but it's only one o'clock, so I've got all the time in the world. Um, but yeah, first things first, probably going to go and take some photos somewhere. <laughs>
So I just pulled up to the forest um, near home, so let's get out. We're going to take some photos um, and I might give you a little bit of an idea of what I look for when I'm shooting, what sort of angles, sides of the car, and, and bits that I want to shoot. Um, my car's not clean, so bear with me. Right. So I'm outside. Uh, I think it's sort of light out. There we go. So let me quickly spin this around. I'll show you my camera bag. Boom. Here we go. So this is my camera bag. So I have this nice zip pocket at the bottom, and then inside just have my camera. And then I have a big lens as well, and then the top portion can be for, um, you know, like, well, this and other bits and bobs. So let me get this out, and then we shall start doing some shooting. So bear with me a second. Right, so going around the car, things that you're going to want to look for. So one thing that you can do is turn the wheels in. So you'll see that we have the wheels on this turned at the moment from the side that I'm shooting. Um, just gives a bit of a better stance, shows the alloys off and so on. Um, I know my car's not lowered, you've got a huge arch gap, but you can sort that out in your post sort of processing. Um, I've tried to park off of the road, um, so I'm out of people's way. I've tried to park in an area where you can see there's not too much close to the car. Um, so if I turn you around over here, you could see that the edge of the car park is just here, and then you have all these trees and so on. So it would have made it quite cluttered. So if I come and I shoot here, I can get most of this in the background fairly well blurred out. So when I tend to go around a car, I tend to shoot from obviously the front corner. I tend to do some side shots. Um, obviously the normal straight on the front, straight on the rear as well. Um, but then you can also do some slightly different things. So um, you'll see a lot of people doing things where they shoot parts of the car. So you could shoot, for instance, let me just quickly change this to this. So you could shoot, for instance, like this on the rear of the car. You can shoot just a portion of it like this. Show you that there. And then we'll see how that comes out later. But you can shoot sections based on what there is there. You can shoot your up close. You can shoot details like your badges and so on. Um, but shoot, some, shoot from some funky angles and you'll get pictures that you maybe weren't expecting. And sometimes that works. Thank you. 